Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. Today is March the 11th, and we're going to be looking together in Psalm chapter 40. Psalm chapter 40 is an interesting chapter because we're not sure exactly when this chapter was written in David's life. But what David does give us is he gives us three important instructions for dealing with difficult life situations. He starts off in the first section of this chapter and praises God for all that he has done. He says in verse 2, He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walk along. Verse 3, He has given me a new song to sing. David knew that ultimate success in his life depended on his faith in God and that God was the one who was going to lift him up. This isn't talking about him getting stuck in a literal pit with literal mud. This is talking about spiritually how God came into his life, lifted him up, put him on a solid foundation, which God does to every single one of us when we come into a relationship with him. So the first section here, David praises God for all that he's done. The next section in this chapter starts in verse number six, where David gives us instruction to give God everything that he asks for. David talks about in verse six, you take no delight in sacrifices or offerings. Now that you have made me listen, I finally understand you don't require burnt sacrifices or sin sin offerings. Then in verse 8, he says, I take joy in doing your will, my God, for for your instructions are written on my heart. David is telling us that God is more interested in our heart. It's the same thing when King Saul was not listening and disobeying God, and he brought in a lot of the things that he was supposed to utterly destroy. And God said it's better to obey than to sacrifice. There are some things that are better, and God is looking at our heart, and our heart is so important all through the Psalms, all through the book of Proverbs, all through God's word, the importance of the heart is there. We're supposed to guard our heart with all diligence because out of it comes all the issues of life in Proverbs 4.23. So David is teaching us that whatever God wants, we need to give to him and that our heart is the most important thing that we have and that we possess. Then in the next section, going towards the end of the chapter, starting in verse 11, David gives us instruction to trust God for all that we have and everything that's left over. He says in verse 17, the very last verse, As for me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. You are my helper and my savior. Oh my God, do not delay. He's magnifying God. He says, I am poor and needy, but you are God. He's comparing and contrasting himself with God. I'm the one who's poor and needy. I can't do anything. All my hope is in you, Lord. You are everything. I am weak. You are strong. I am frail. You are powerful. I am a sinner. You are perfect. I am incapable of doing anything. You are all powerful. So whatever God asks of us, we should already have given him the answer. That means no matter what God asks, my answer is always yes. God wants me to do whatever. Well, God, you already know the answer. Yes. Anything you want, God, I will do, I will give, I will go, anything you want. The answer is already predetermined, and that answer is yes. Psalm 40, great chapter, a lot of good stuff in there. I hope you'll spend some time reading it today, getting God's word, grow closer to him, and until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.